With Modern Warfare 2's campaign being remastered, I figured it was a good time as any to take a look at the viability of getting slash playing the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2009 version of the game over 10 years later. Today, we will be focusing on the PC version specifically, and multiplayer for the most part, but a lot carries over to the other versions as well. With that out of the way, here is the answer to should you buy slash play Modern Warfare 2 PC in 2020? Okay, so you are stuck at home with nothing to do and out of the blue, Activision drops a remaster of your favorite Call of Duty right in front of you. But when you reach out to grab it, they slap you on the hand saying you can't touch it for another month unless you have a console that's be about to become obsolete. Your first thought is probably, hey, why don't I go play the old one instead? I still own that on the PS3 or Xbox 360. Your second thought might be, crap, I just sold my uh, PS3 slash Xbox and it looks bad on that anyways. The Steam version might be a great alternative to your woes. First off, the game is a little high on Steam at $20 and the DLC is still full price at $15. That's $5 less than the actual game itself for, what, four maps, something like that. Anyways, I would definitely re recommend grabbing it from a third-party retailer like cdkeys.com. They actually have a discount right now at 65% off. <laughs> hashtag not sponsored, but uh, hashtag wanna be sponsored. Hey, hey buddy. Want a free copy of Modern Warfare 2? Somewhere in this video, there is a secret word. If you find it, and comment it down below. Then, uh, get yourself a free copy of Modern Warfare 2. Limited supply, though, so, you know, hurry it up. Alright, so, the multiplayer. You can run the game at a higher resolution and higher textures than on console. This means the game will look way nicer than on console. However, the game is locked at a 65 degree field of view and has a 90 FPS cap, so you have to use a field of view slash FPS unlocker if you want to have the best experience. And of course I will have a link to the field of view slash FPS unlocker in the description, so be sure to check that out, okay? Another issue is the ping and general stability of the peer-to-peer -peer lobbies. Which, if you didn't know, Modern Warfare 2 had peer-to-peer -peer lobbies, which basically means one player hosts the entire server. From my experience, though, it's generally okay. Uh, the lobbies aren't that bad unless you're playing at a weird time. And if you're in the U.S., in that case, you'll probably get a 200 ping, 150 ping, somewhere in Germany, probably. Germany or Russia. And that's usually where you get the uh, most hackers. And speaking of hackers, are there hacked lobbies? Yes, but not as common as you would think. When they do happen, I can usually just leave and find another one. It's not nearly as bad as back in like 2012, 2015, around there. Those days were actually really bad because the anti-cheat got completely disabled on uh, on Steam. They get, they found a complete workaround, so it, it didn't even matter. They, they circumvented the entire thing, so you were basically able to cheat even if you had a VAC ban. Thank God Infinity Ward finally patched that out. Otherwise, I just couldn't recommend the game. With all that being said, there still is an active player base consisting of about 1,000 to 1,500 players. And with the campaign being remastered, the player base has gotten an increase in counts. And with there being really no sign of there ever being a remastered multiplayer, well, at least anytime soon, if you have at least $15, I'd recommend that you pick up the game. Okay, next point. My 
biggest issue is that the server hosted dedicated servers that sometimes you'll get thrown into will spit out your IP address in the chat so I definitely recommend maybe using a VPN when you play because some if you're recording at least that way you won't get DDoSed. Another way you can actually enjoy the game is by using IW4X. IW4X is a crack of the game to enable dedicated servers and support for extra settings and features like new maps, guns, and a, a field of view slider. You don't need the game installed on Steam to play it, but I would definitely recommend that you buy it legit first as I don't condone piracy whatsoever. At the end of the day, it's ultimately your choice whether you want to buy the game or not. I do recommend that you at least try it out. I do feel that the game offers more than just a nostalgia fix, although that does compound onto it. Obviously the game isn't perfect, which game is, but it's pretty gosh darn close. And thus concludes our deep dive into Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. If you haven't checked out my other videos on Call of Duty on the PC, I definitely recommend you take a look. If you like what you see, you might end up buying more than just Modern Warfare 2. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.